out. Here comes the Nina Harold. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? Well, you see, we heard that you make the best loans in town, so we thought we'd give you a try, as long as the interest isn't too high. You fellas are mixed up, aren't you? You see, my business has nothing to do with loans. You know, boys, I think we came to the right place. The old geezer's gonna give us some of his cash. But I told you, I don't loan money. I'm only an accountant. I suggest you gentlemen go elsewhere. Oh, is that right? Only an accountant? But I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to check that out. Come on, boys. Let's help ourselves. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> Jenkins, 
office. Yeah. We'll get you, you murderers. You dirty bastards. Enough is enough. This whole situation is deplorable. It's my intention to see the governor and let him handle the Navajero gang. We should have resolved this problem long ago, Mayor, if our sheriff had only done his job properly. That isn't true, and you know it, gentlemen. Besides, they know the schedule of our gold shipments. That's right, gentlemen, you heard me. Oh, it's a perfect situation for the bandits, I'd say. It means that they're being told just when the gold shipments arrive. Now, who's informing them, I don't know. But if it is like that, and I'm firmly convinced that it is, it's obvious that I cannot fulfill my job. My hands are tied, and I can't risk any more lives. Remember, gentlemen, I've lost two deputies already. Oh? But you're paid to run those risks, aren't you, Sheriff? And uh, rather well, I think. I agree. This arrow's right. Oh, behave yourselves, gentlemen. I have another idea that might be interesting, a bounty killer. That could be our solution. Someone's got to get the Navajeros. Gentlemen, don't you see? There's already a reward in those bad men. So what we do, we raise the ante just a little bit. No, I don't agree. Why should we put out more dough to get protection? We just can't afford it. As a banker, I should know. You're right. Absolutely right. He now pays good taxes for this reason. It's Please, wait a minute, 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 minute. talk at once. Now, I'm not paying any more out of my pocket. Listen, gentlemen, before we hire any bounty hunters, it seems logical that I appeal first to the capital, asking the governor to send us an agent. Well, I agree to that. I'll go along with that. Welcome, my friend. Well, to what do we owe the honor of this visit? Are you checking up on us, amigo? No, just waiting for the federal agent. He's on his way, amigo. Oh, yeah? Well, like I told you, don't worry. I buried a lot of lawmen in my time. <laughs> Why don't you just rest easy, friend? Paco, I worry about everybody. Understand? Well, senor, you got the right thing. Someone's coming! Let's go. Yeah. Where do you think you are going, senor? Your men are interfering with a federal agent. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to pass. Perhaps it would be better if you were to just turn around and go the other way. My orders are to be in Trinity before sundown. I don't think that's very nice of you. Ryan. No, it isn't nice. Give it back. Thank you, sir. Now I must be going. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>
boss was too scared, huh? All right, let's get out of here. Come on, boy. ranch to us. That is, if you want to spare your children. All right, you got me. I'll do just what you say. That's very wise of you. Just don't hurt my boys, please. Bring him over something which he can write with. Here, Sancho. See that we have a visitor. Saludos! <laughs> have you come to congratulate us on the job we are doing? Why, yes, I did, amigo. I think they are beginning to learn their lessons. Sure, haven't I already told you not to worry? Just think, you are going to get rich. Good. Oh, yes. How did our little exhibition in town go over? Uh, it went over very well, Paco. As a matter of fact, here's your photo. You are now worth 10,000. Ah, that's a mighty good photo there. <laughs> Let's see. Well, will you look at that, huh? Uh, look out, some bounty hunter doesn't come. Just be careful now. I want you to keep an eye out. Yes, yeah, it's quite a lot of money, all right. Do you think a bounty hunter will come for yeah. us? If he does, he'll get a bullet right in his head. <laughs> How soon are you going? Well, I'll be going right back. Well? Tomorrow we will all ride to Trinity, and then we will drink to your hand. What do you think? Good idea. Yeah, have a little fun. You see, we also thought it's a good idea to wake the town up a uh, little. I see. The Nava Heroes are coming. Everyone what, to their what, post. What are you waiting for? Get that gun! Let's get out, huh? We 
haven't a chance. Those Navajeros are too darn strong. Yeah, of course we defended our city. So what? When they come back, you can expect most anything. I agree, Sheriff. What the hell do you mean, we? Don't make me laugh, damn it, Sheriff. I certainly didn't see you out right. there fighting. Calm down. We're all gentlemen here. Thank you, John. Well, now we must find a solution. We yes. tried the governor. And what did he do? He sent us the colonel. Mm. A beat up old cripple. He didn't even have a chance. Oh, good God. We need someone sharp, a professional killer. We need Alan Boyd, the best bounty hunter. Alan Boyd, John. I think John is right. All right, but he's expensive. I want to know just who's going to pay for this gun hand. We'll pay what we have to pay, but get him. Boy's the best bet all around. Very good. Gentlemen, that makes it unanimous. But who are we going to send who won't attract those bandits? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. How about that boy of Frederick Jeffries? Yeah. I assume sure. the boy will be getting wages, and he can probably use the money, I guess. Hmm. What do you think of that? I like it. Yes, it's a good idea. Gentlemen, let's go talk to the boy. Well, it seems they found some courage. Uh, we'll have to break their spirit for them. There's another matter. Tom Jeffries, he's bringing Alan Boyd here. I want the kid killed. I don't care how in the hell you do it, just do it. He will never reach his destination. I guarantee it, friend. Then we will take care of, of our famous citizens of Trinity and blood. Death. Are you with us, brothers? To death. 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 Yes, to death. 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 Good, we agree. Let's go. I want you to be mighty careful. Uh, don't worry, Dad. I'll be back home tomorrow. Shucks, Father. You know I got the fastest pony around uh, here. <laughs> okay, boy. Yeah. Have a good trip. Thanks, Dad. God be with you. situation. I'm only sorry that young man's life was wasted. Lord only knows how the bandits get their inside information. But they do. That's the unfortunate part. What are we to do now, my friend? Well, George, I, I thought I'd go and see Alan Boyd myself. I would imagine that you've taken into consideration the dangerous position you'll be in. Yes, you'll sir. be on your own, John, so be careful. As far as the arrangements go, you have carte blanche. Thank you, George. I will. Let's see if I have better luck. Continue. Well, Mr. Boyd, you were telling me how, how expensive your services are. That's because I'm the best there is in my profession. Yes, I see. No problem. I assure you, no price is too high, Mr. Boyd. I'm here to acquire your services. Well, I've had a lot of offers lately, but my fee is $10,000, plus $2,000 for every dead body. And the reward, of course. Take it, or leave it. Oh, I forgot. I want a deposit, you understand. I work a lot better that way. Usual is the price of three bodies. I see. It's a deal. Here you are, 6,000. Well, what's that gadget? A very silent weapon. But... Lethal, a crossbow. 
Is it accurate? Watch. Yes. It's accurate. All right. We'll be meeting in Trinity. Practical jokers in my time, but you take the cake, Willie. Come on, get out of there. I want to talk. Look what the cat just dragged into town. I got a feeling that business is going to pick up around here some. <laughs> what makes you think that? I remember Galveston. Somebody's telling the Navajeros everything that's going on. Huh? You wouldn't know who the informers, would you? Come on, huh, Willie. I want to hear all about it. <laughs> Are we allowing? You see, it's like this. I always try and keep my nose clean and out of trouble. But if I were to make an educated guess, why a Mr. Pizarro would be my choice. Uh, thanks very much. They're much better, Willie. You're sure learning. You'll be quite a good carpenter yet. You must have been practicing. Anyway, you better make some more, Willie, because you're going to have a lot of extra work. Let me just tell you, Alan, why these bandits, they're without any scruples. They're not even men, they're animals. They go in packs like wolves, ready to kill anyone who stands in their way. And believe me, Alan, I'd nay like to be one undertaker that has to make your last suit of clothes, even though it'd be a masterpiece, because it would be made for Alan Boyd, the notorious bounty hunter. I'm sorry to deprive posterity of a masterpiece, but the man who makes my coffin hasn't been born yet. See ya. Good luck, Alan. scarier. You listen. When you enter a girl's room, knock. You hear me knock. You may own the saloon, but not me. Why don't you marry me, Carmen? Then your father's gold would be mine by rights. That is, after he dies. Not a bad idea, huh? <laughs> Us getting married. You like it? I always knew you were ambitious. I just as soon prefer to, to marry a lizard. <laughs> A 
father will never tell you where it is in. Well, we'll see. Give me a large glass of milk. Milk, you say? That's right. Coming up. <laughs> hey, stranger, what are you doing in the bar alone? Don't you know children are prohibited? <laughs> Leastwise, not without your mother or father, eh? Ha, ha, ha! he don't mean anything. You play gin rummy? Yes. Well, sit down and play some. Pleasure. Seems rather a nice, quiet little community. I thought I'd spend a couple of days here. It's what I call taking it easy for a while. You know what I mean? There's plenty of peace and tranquility. Tranquility? <laughs> Mister, you just don't know. We haven't had peace in Trinity for about a year. It used to be a good town. Now the people are all leaving, packing up, and heading somewhere else. They just don't want it any longer. Yeah? What don't they want any longer? Well? I was talking about this man called Pizarro. He's been robbing them blind. <laughs> he owns half the town already, mostly by threatening the citizens. That's enough, slut. Why, <laughs> Mr. Bizarro's a very fine gentleman. Because I know what I'm talking about, see? He's boss around here. And the sooner you realize that, stranger, the better off you're gonna be. Mr. Bizarro's a fine, upstanding man. And he's smart as a whip. Don't you listen to her. <laughs> you know what? You got a big mouth, see? So keep it shut, you hear? Why, he knows... Everything about everybody in town. Let me tell you something, fella. Shh. This is a secret, so keep it under your skirt. He even knows when the gold shipments come into town. Yep, he knows everything going on here. Boy, he even knows about Alan Boyd. Heard of him, huh? Alan Boyd, the great bounty hunter? <laughs> Well, you can bet your boots you ain't gonna get out of here alive. <laughs> That's Jim. you expect to be here? Well, that depends on how much business I do. You know how it is, new towns, new people, getting acquainted. You see, sir, well, I'm an insurance agent with the Confidential Insurance Agency. I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna be here. Yes. Well, I hope you enjoy your little visit while you're with us. I sell life insurance, interested? No, and I don't think anybody else in town would be either. That's a pity. I expect to do a lot of trade around Trinity. Charlie, the usual. <laughs> we got ourselves a new visitor, fellas. He's upstairs. He tells me he's an insurance salesman. Big fella, I want him taken care of. You better take Marty and make sure you don't miss. Got it? Sure. Drink up.
want a drink? No, I want a piece of that. All right, girl, put it right here. Yeah, I want a little of you, honey. <laughs> Hey, Joe, may I get in? No. I want a turn. Everybody gets a turn but me. Now, let go or I'll have to use force. <laughs> Hey, what is this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now that's going too far. <laughs> you act pretty tough, baby, on you. What do you do with the big one? <laughs> yeah. Alan Boyd, for sure. You know the orders? Yeah, kill him. He should be around here someplace. So look, did you hear what I said? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure he's dead.
That'll be twelve thousand dollars. Six thousand is the reward money, you know. I expect to collect more of that, sir, before I finish with the job I've been hired to do. I quite understand. Personally, I haven't much sympathy towards bounty hunters, but I must admit that you know your job. I nice see, you. Why don't you make it easy on yourself, Carmen? He took a lot of gold out of that old mine, right? <laughs> now, where did your father put it? You heard what I said. I'll never tell you where that gold is. Oh, I'll find out. Of course, I might have to use a little <laughs> friendly persuasion. And it's a pity, really, to ruin such... Such a lovely face. But... <coughs> Bastardo! Go ahead, hit me! Don't be too sure. If you don't tell me, I'll turn you over to the Navajeras. <laughs> Their methods of persuasion are a lot more efficient. I don't care. I'd rather die than to tell you. <laughs> Dad, you would do me no good, Pequeña. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll give you one more day to think it over. And that's it. <laughs> You've got just one day, but no more. And you know what will happen when the Navajeras get you. You are persistent, I must say, but it won't do you any damn good. <laughs> I'll see you later.
waste of time. get a little more information. You know that girl named Carmen? Who's her father? Why, Alan, it's awfully sudden. What are you thinking of doing, marrying the girl? Of course not, Willie. This is strictly business, you understand. Ah, then. I have work to do. There are caskets to prepare. Stop thinking of coffins and corpses and give me the information. Uh, well, the father's Tom Massey. He was a miner once upon a time, and it was said he found a lot of gold, which he hoarded. That's the way I heard it, that's the way the story's told. And I can tell you, Alan, he's certainly a well-heeled citizen. Now he owns the best grazing land in the territory. Hmm. You, uh, better get back to those caskets, Willie. Something on, we're going for a little ride. Who are you? What do you want? What are you doing? Put me down! Put me down! sample of what you're going to get. Where is that gold hidden? I want it, you hear? Now tell me. He'll make you talk. If you don't want to be hurt, then tell us where the gold is. <laughs> She's a stubborn one. I wonder if her father is that stubborn. I think I better go talk to him. You keep working on her. Meet you at the hacienda, my brother. Good. Hasta luego. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, you were going to tell where the gold is. <laughs> now we shall see just how much of a woman you are. All right, boys, tie her up.
Very simple. Either you tell me where the gold is, or you and your daughter will suffer. Well, what do you care more about, your daughter or the gold? After I get through with her, you won't recognize her. When I talk to you, listen! I will let both of you go free. Look, all it takes is a few little words, right? Stand up. Now, where is the gold hidden? All right. You ask for it. Fella, don't worry. You just give me a couple of minutes and we'll uh, see what can be done about your lovely daughter. How am I to thank you? Oh, I'm sure we'll find a way. You don't really think I do this type of work for nothing, do you? Well, let's look at it this way. You're very rich. So I thought, well, that you wouldn't mind paying me a small reward, cash preferred. What do you say? I do deserve it, don't I? How about it? Do you take it or do you want to leave it? You got yourself a deal. But where'd you hear all this? My daughter didn't tell you. And who are you anyway? Alan Boyd. Some sort of federal agent, huh? No, not really. I'm what you call a bounty hunter. Right there. Keep your hands up. I see that we meet again. This time you will die.
Let's go. You ride with me as far as the fork and go on to Trinity. I'll take care of the Navajeros. Did she talk? Nah. She's stubborn as a mule. She'd rather die. Ah, uh, damn it. And now her father's gone too. I was surprised by the bounty hunter. He's very clever. He'll probably come here next, but we'll be ready. And we'll kill that filthy dog.
sinking bounty killer. Let's go! I want him dead! Human, do you hear what I say?
satisfactory. I expected that you'd be satisfied. Gentlemen, I've done what you asked me to, and your troubles are over for the time being. So I guess you won't be requiring my services any longer. And if you ever do need me again, just bring along a lot of money. Kept your daughter up at the old mine, Mr. Massey, except for a pretty bad scare. She's all right. I trust you remember the agreement we had made. I thank you. Mr. Allen Boyd? That's me. Well, sir, the mayor of Carson City sent me. A band of desperados arrived in town, and it said you're the only one who can get rid of them. 
Well, sir, are they willing to pay? 